I'm trying to set this thing up on the dyno since Tuesday. It's now Friday. So I kind of written this week off as a loss as far as accomplishing anything with that. So today I'm not going to tune anything, but I'm going to make some videos in my course on drive by wire throttle bodies. And I've been asked uh, about a hundred zillion times to make some videos regarding uh, getting a car to idle choppy. So I'm going to spend most of the day in front of the camera, but first. So I have a date with my daughter to go skateboarding this weekend. So the next video I make is gonna be me in the hospital with a broken ankle. So she really wanted a skateboard for her birthday and obviously got her one and we've gone out a couple of times but I actually haven't had time to put one together for me. I gotta do that today before we go out for the weekend. She's all excited. <laughs> stupid grip tape came all creased up and every skateboard shop in the area has all gone out of business so getting some new non-creased up stuff isn't an option so we're just gonna roll with this I probably spent 10 15 years of my life religiously riding a skateboard each and every single moment that I had available to do so absolutely miss it so many good friends so many memories and a whole bunch of life lessons as well <laughs> So when I moved into this building, there was no convenient option for internet. And I've had one of those kind of portable wireless internet, whatever they're called for ever. So I've just been using that. I don't do a whole lot with the internet here up until the last maybe year or so. And then here in the last few months, three, four days a week, I'm doing Zoom calls and online training and teaching people this, that, the other. And between the podcasts and the live this and that, the internet just isn't cutting it. So I've been going back and forth trying to get internet installed here for, I don't know, it's probably getting close to a year now. And I was quoted $10,000 to install the internet, even though there's already internet running to this building. And the irony is, is not every unit has it. And the ones that do have it are the ones that are all sitting empty because everybody's gotten evicted ever since this new management company uh, took over the building. So after about 10,000 phone calls and emails later, I've finally gotten them to agree to, I guess, pay for it. So it's just going to cost me the normal installation. So it's like a gigantic win. Uh, just the only downside of that is we're probably like 12 weeks into them actually getting to it. And they're finally working on it today. So I'm pretty excited. When I first spoke with them, it was supposed to be quick, easy, like, yeah, we have internet there, no problem. And they came and they did this. <laughs> Looks a bit shit. And then they're, all right, you're good to go. Somebody's gonna come and finish the install. And then they actually came back here probably eight to 10 times. And they'd send a new person out each time. And each time the outcome was like, yeah, we can't do anything with this. So it's been a bit of a situation. So now that well, who knows how long. My luck, they'll run this cable out here doing whatever they're doing and then it'll be another 13 years before it's ready to use. But uh, once that is up and going, then finally get to move forward with some of the cool stuff I'd like to do. Hopefully it'll benefit you guys and we can do some cool stuff together. And uh, But yeah, that's just a look into how every single thing that I try to do always turns into just this huge overwhelming disaster. So I don't have any Zoom meetings today. I took care of three or four of those yesterday. So who in the world ever would have thought that 
tuning cars would have turned into spending four or five hours a day doing internet meetings and stuff. So it's interesting how life can change in a hurry. It's going to answer 12,000 emails and then I think we're going to make two or three, probably three training videos for today and then we'll go home and dump 100 hours worth of video footage onto the computer and get ready to do phase two of how all of this stuff works. In this video, we're gonna take a look at our drive-by wire throttle control. And a lot of people get really intimidated by this, thinking that it's gonna be very complex and difficult. It's kind of crazy that they just dug under everything from all the way over there. Started monsooning. I'm going home.